All right, defensively, let's take everything down to the ground now. Let's take everything down to the ground. One of the toughest positions to break is a good wrestler with good flexibility in their shoulders that's got their hands locked above their head and they're in on a leg. So let's put Billy in on Rhett's leg here. You know, and sometimes wrestlers are good enough to get in here and kill the clock holding on to the leg. So we're going to cover what's called a butt drag. First things first, Rhett needs to do a good job of taking his toe back and sliding. Hold your lock there, Billy. He's going to compete and keep a nice strong lock. And see what Rhett's done? Rhett has slid the lock right up here, high, high, high on this thigh. Let me show you an example of what would happen if Rhett did not scoot that lock all the way up to his thigh. Try to walk around him here, Rhett. Wrestle Billy, wrestle Billy, wrestle Billy, wrestle. When the lock is still in that knee cavity, behind the knee, that's the scenario that can happen. And often our wrestlers will get impatient and want to walk around their opponent before they're really in position to do it. So the very first thing about walking around your opponent in a butt drag scenario is making sure that lock gets moved from the knee up to the highest part of the thigh. One more time, please. This time, Rhett, let's, take it, let's face the camera and let's take that leg all the way back. Ready? He's sliding, sliding, shoelace sliding, boom. Locks here. Now, when Rhett goes to make the move, and we're going to cover the technical part of going around our opponent here, he's in a much better scenario, go Rhett, to cover Billy's bo body. Now for the technical aspect of how we're going to get our, around our opponent. One, we talked about it already, is sliding this foot down and away. Now notice, Rhett has a straight leg, and he has a bent leg at this point, a straight leg. The leg that Billy is on is straight. Okay? The one that's covering his head is bent. After he stuffed the head, put Billy's head in the mat, he's still keeping a good strong wizard over here. As he makes his move to go behind Billy, these legs actually change. This one's going to bend, and that one's going to go straight. And that puts a lot of pressure on the shoulders of the guy that has the single leg. Let's do it again. Let's come up. Hands are locked. Drop your legs back. Straighten that leg. Straighten it, straighten it. Straighten it. Keep your hands locked there, Billy. Excellent. As he goes, as Rhett goes to cover the head, they switch, dropping the far hip and creating a lot of pressure. Remember, Billy was on this side with this leg. And because Rhett rotated his hips, it took that lock at a very uncomfortable angle, causing Billy's hands to release. Now, that he, since Rhett's in this position, with his hips down and away, he begins to reach to this side of Billy's body, keeping his hips down, he, hips in, head up, and begins to work, 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 keeping that pressure on Billy. And if you notice, he kind of steamrolled him. Now, are we going to steamroll everybody down to the ground in that scenario? No, probably not. But why does Rhett do that? He does that because he's keeping constant pressure, hip pressure, on his opponent. 